This is basically how to wear jeans and boots 101. So let's go. So you've most likely clicked on this video because you've asked one of these questions. How do I wear ankle boots? Do I roll up the jeans? Do I tuck them in? What if the jeans are too long? What if they're too short? Specifically, what type of boot looks the best with a certain type of jean? No worries, I'm sharing all of the details, breaking down every jean and every type of boot with you in today's video. Quick before we hop in, you'll make sure to want to check out my stylish wardrobe on a budget playlist after this. I have tons of really affordable budget style videos in there. And you'll also want to hit the subscribe button. I upload videos a couple times a week all on affordable budget bougie on a budget style so I would love to have you and Instagram share more of my personal life daily sales and more outfit inspiration so let's hop into the video so first off we're gonna be talking specifically how to style a straight style jean and if you're wondering exactly what is a straight style jean if you take the hem of the jean and actually roll it up to the knee if it's the same um, width then that's a true straight jean. If it's skinnier at the hem, then that's like more of a skinny jean. If it's wider, it's more of a flare jean. My favorite ways to specifically style a straight jean is actually roll the cuff up slightly. I really like the contrasted look of this where you have the jean slightly rolled and then a boot. Now, what boot specifically looks best with a straight jean? I personally recommend a tight high shaft or a tight lower shaft booty. Now if you're wondering what does that really mean, a tighter shaft means it's gonna hug your leg more, whereas a wider shaft is going to be a wider opening of the boot. I also would recommend not tucking in a straight jean. I think it just doesn't look as flattering on the leg because it tends to bunch up at the top of the boot or if you have a lower ankle boot, the hem of the jean just kind of looks frumpy and not as good. So my recommendation have a tighter shaft high boot or a tighter shaft low boot and those look bomb with straight jeans. And like always, I will have everything detailed in the description box, what boots I use specifically for what jean, if you're interested in picking any of them up. Next style of jean is a flare jean, and with these, a cuff is an absolute no-go. Ideally, you're going to want to try to find a sock boot or a boot that just has a tight shaft around your ankle. That way, the flare isn't getting caught in and out of that. Any booty that is chunky will work as well. I think wedge sneakers um, are a good option too. Now a tip here with flare jeans and boots is essentially you just don't want the hem of the jean to get caught in the top of the boot. So a great way to measure this is the front of the jean, you want it to hit the top of the boot and then like halfway um, down the heel in the back. That way you don't have it super bunched up in front of the boot or dragging on the floor. These flare jeans are my favorite. I've shared them in a bunch of my previous videos. They are so good and actually from Walmart. Like, they're the bomb. They come in three different shades. So comfortable, amazing quality. I really, really like these boots. They're super comfortable. Love that the shaft is tight so I never have an issue with my jeans and the heel height is perfect. Cropped straight and cropped flare jeans are really, really trendy right now, and for the most part, they follow the rules of a flare jean. In most cases here, you're gonna to wanna to have the shaft, the top of the boot here, slide up right underneath the hem of the jean. It's okay if a little bit of skin shows, but you don't want more than an inch or it can start to look just a little funky. So essentially, the boots with the tighter uh, shaft, like the Steve Madden and Mark Fisher booty, are the best option because your flare jean is going to fit right on top, like right above it, or the sock booty can go right underneath the jean for a seamless flow. So really think both of these are great options. As you can see, they are just a tighter shaft. One's a little higher, one's a little lower. Next up is a really popular one. It's the typical skinny jean. Although a lot of people tend to think that you just take the skinny jean and tuck it into the boot. But tucking in really only works with over the knee boots or high right under the knee boot. 
but not angle boots. So essentially with the skinny jeans, you want it to look like the right and not like the left just because it bunches here around the ankle easier and this just looks really uniform, very classy and it doesn't bunch. It just looks really, really good. And just a little side note, these are great Nordstrom Vince Camuto boots from Walmart. I love them. They're so, so good and comfortable. So the ideal combo that you're going to want to look for here is the cuff. It's one of my favorite ways to style skinny jeans and booties is to do a slight cuff. And this style typically works with any slim or skinny jean. This is a great hack if you have jeans that are too long or just a bit too short. You can roll and cuff them up to the perfect desired look. So for example, starting with a lower shaft booty like this Vince Camuto boot, you are going to want to just slightly roll it so that the top of the hem grazes on the top of the booty shaft. This is super classy. This is one of the most popular ways to style a booty. I love this look. If you want to go for a little bit higher of a shaft, you could go with this Walmart booty, which I really like, or the Mark Fisher that I've shared. Super chic and effortless style. However, if you really want to tuck in your jeans, just go with a higher shaft, tighter booty, and you'll be great. The great thing about skinny jeans is that most booties and boots look great with them. Just as long as the hem of the jean isn't super bunched up at the top of the booty or it's like weird lengths, gaps between the jean and the actual booty. So really the skinny jean is probably the easiest one to style. Next jean type is the mom jean, which is really trendy right now. I get some of my favorite mom jeans from Abercrombie, which I can link for you guys below. But overall, you want to pick a booty with a high shaft and a tighter ankle. That way, it's a seam, more of a seamless transition between the jean and the booty. Ideally, you just want the shaft of the boot to be much skinnier than the jean, and that gives some dimension to your look and just makes it look very, and not quite as frumpy. And with a boyfriend jean, very similar to the mom jean, you wanna make sure to just have the shaft of your booty tighter than your jean, that way, it's just not so straight and everything has dimension and it just looks really good. I'm wearing my boyfriend Levi jeans right now and I love it with the um, Steve Madden booties. It just really any booty with a tighter shaft these look phenomenal with. With boyfriend jeans you're just going to do anything that's low and tighter around the ankle. So these are actually the Walmart Vince Camuto dupes and then these are a Dulce Vite. Um, tighter ankle low rise that I've had and I really like both of these would be great options hey guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future video also you can comment down below and let me know if you like these specific styling videos and if this was helpful for you I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you all next time bye